premature ovarian failure is a condition as it is it is there in the statement it, uh, itself that your ovaries have failed before the age prematurely like maybe a female is 20 years of old and she comes to our opd and she's presenting with irregular cycles or she hasn't had any conceptions so if she hasn't had any conceptions we investigate the patient we take the history many patients give the history that they are having irregular cycles but some patients they don't have history of irregular cycles also they have history of short cycles and these patients are also having cycles in which the eggs are empty because their ovaries have already failed. So in POF, basically premature ovarian failure, the AMH level is very low. It is usually less than 0.5. It is like negligible scores. And the FSH and LH levels are very high. The E2 level is also very less. In patients with premature ovarian failure, either they are born with the premature ovarian failure. That means they are having some genetic problem or some congenital defects or some congenital problems in which they have never made eggs. Their ovaries were always silent. Or patients are presenting that after they had their like periods, they are presenting with amenorrhea, means the periods have stopped or the periods are irregular. In these patients also, when we do the ultrasound, their ovaries are atrophic that we see in the scans. The AFC, that is the antral follicle count, either it is 0 or it is less than 2. So these patients are suffering from premature ovarian failure and we have to decide aptly and on time that these patients require some third party reproduction from our side or if rejuvenation techniques can take their role to make them pregnant and to make them attain motherhood. Friends, if you are liking my infertility videos, please like and subscribe my channel so that I can make more infertility videos for you.